Excuse me. Why must you be very loud when I'm trying to record, dude? What's going on everyone? Kenan here and uh, you know, I'm hanging out, doing things as always, uh, getting busy, getting dirty, uh, but more importantly, making animals' lives better here at the camp. Today we got a question, it's an Ask Cam Kenan question day, and it's from Nancy Clements, one of our Patreon supporters, and she asks me, Kenan, how are the three new rhino iguanas doing? Uh, that's what she wants to know. I'm about to show you. Thank you to our amazing supporters who help to make this show possible every week. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennan. This week, a special shout out goes to Adrian Pickle. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. It's just very serendipitous that this question was asked today because I've been doing some work, everybody. Check it out. So I tore apart, I tore apart Colin and the jungle carpet pythons enclosure because those guys are in because of the cold. They're gonna stay inside for a little while. And when they do come back out, they're gonna go over on the other side where Guapo and Lola are. And instead, what I did was I figured, you know what? Here are Stumpy and his girls. They're right there, okay? They were in because of the cold and I got motivated this morning and this is what I did. I tore out all the old stuff that was more jungly and I made a little bit of a different enclosure here. It's uh, pretty simple, but as far as rock iguanas, this is gonna be perfect. We've got south facing sun, it's gonna beat on here, but the thing I noticed is the sun really shines higher because the building blocks it. So I made use of the different levels and the height that we have here by creating uh, more floor space by going up. So we've got an old mango branch that comes on up. We had one of the old branches from the old enclosure so they can sunbathe on this. And I placed some rocks on top of a shelf that I just quickly put together here, um, just to keep it nice and simple, very secure, very strong. These rocks will heat up, the lizards will lay on the rocks. And then I thought, well, let's do something with the floor space. We can't have just moist dirt. So I threw some pavers down, uh, some square pavers as a foundation, leveled them all off, put one of those corrugated um, pipes that I like to use and started stacking all this awesome Texas limestone that I got from my friends at Yardco uh, Stone Company in Boynton Beach, Florida. Uh, they've really been awesome. These guys helped me out with all kinds of natural materials. So I stacked it on up. Oh, look who's here. There's Slinky. Hi, Slinky. He is gonna have some new friends to look at. Don't eat my new friends, buddy. Luckily, I checked all this. It's very secure. Uh, I hope he doesn't. He won't, don't worry. Uh, but anyway, he's certainly interested in what's going on over here, as are you, I'm sure. So we made a bit of a house out of this corrugated plastic pipe, which I like to use. You've seen me use it before. And you can see there is the pipe, right? So on the surface or on the roof of the pipe, I put a Zoomed heating pad. Excuse me. Why must you be very loud when I'm trying to record, dude? Why are you doing this? Huh? Why be a loud lizard? I guess he wants to come on up. Look at that underside he's got there. Woohoo! Handsome dude. Uh, anyhow, back to the project. Will you hurry up, please? People are waiting. There he goes. Walking up. Not a problem. Come on, Slinks. Get up there, will you? I make this really nice ramp for him, but he insists on climbing up the wire. Okay, so anyway, corrugated, plastic corrugated drainage pipe cut in half, laid on top of the, the pavers. And then what I did, Nancy, is I put a plastic uh, or a Zoomed heating pad that has an adhesive. I really glued it on good to the roof. So uh, when I plug it in, it'll provide some heat in the winter. I can block this off, but I did something else. If you'll notice, I don't think you guys can see it, but down in these crevices, I took great stuff, uh, gap filling foam, and I sprayed it all in there because I noticed with the blue iguanas, instead of actually going in the cave, they were finding little crevices and those aren't heated. So I was worried about them. So I was like, wait a minute, why don't I do this? Why don't I use the great stuff, spray in between these. If I want to remove it, it comes off. It's not a, a very powerful adhesive. But the other cool thing is, is that it becomes an insulator. So I really, insulated all the gaps between these and stacked the rocks on and so now we have an insulated rock sculpted kind of habitat through some coquina on top of some 
pavers there. They're not really pavers, it's more of that Texas limestone. I threw it all on there, threw the rest of my coquina sand up here so they could walk up easily. They can bath there, they could climb up here. They'll get to this area, they'll visit with Slinky. Just don't stick any fingers through there. Uh, I may want to put a solid barrier. Uh, I think that's going to be the next thing, just to be safe, because as we know, Slinky is no joke. Although, I have had Slinky get into uh, Guapo and Lola's habitat, and they were all laying on each other. So I don't know. Maybe he just needs a lizard friend. Hmm. Anyway, he's a handsome dude. But uh, with regards to the three Stumpy and the Girls, that's their official name. It's like some kind of rock band or pop group. It's Stumpy and the Girls. Uh, let's get them in here. What do you say? I want you guys to bear witness to this. And Nancy, um, you know, we'll show you how these lizards are doing. And we'll get some footage of them behaving like lizards in their new habitat. Okay, let's just go ahead and put this over here to uh, knock out this. Let's shut this airlock. Very good to have. There are the other two rhinos. There's Petra and Petro right there. So they're gonna have some visitors and they'll be head bobbing all over the place, I'm sure, once they see who's coming out. Let's do it. Let's get this going. All right, guys, come on out. Come on out, Stumps. Oh, Stumpy, since Stumpy has uh, seen sunlight, he's gotten a little bit more rambunctious, which is normal. When lizards and other reptiles, you put them outdoors, it's just something about that natural sunlight really wakes them up. So here they are. Let's get them out and into this habitat. Come on, guys. Oh my gosh, you're gonna be shy now. I wonder if I can... There we go, there's Stumps. Hey, Stumps, check it out, buddy. It's a whole new spot for you. Enjoy. Look at how beautiful. And these animals were rescued from a pet shop in the Columbus area that closed down. Uh, the Humane Society got these animals and my buddy Ken was contacted uh, and he brought them down here to Florida. We have that video on the Army Channel. So he brought them down to live here and be happy in the outside where they belong. And so this habitat uh, is going to be a good temporary one, to be perfectly honest, because we are building a new uh, lizard habitat, the ultimate lizard habitat. I'm doing that with my friends from Knit Wire out of the UK. They're giving me some beautiful materials to build it with, and they're going to fly over and show me how they use it. And their product is used in zoos. And uh, I wanted to share that build with you. That's coming up in March. Now, girls, you got to come out. Come on. Let's get these gals out. Let's see if I can shake them out a little bit oh come on girls oh my gosh will you go down there you go there you go there's one all right oh she's gonna go right in the house all right good well that's nice i'm glad i'm glad you got the house going oh, she's going the wrong way glad i shut that airlock as you can see she'll figure it out oh look at this watch what happens when two lizards meet. Petro, that's Petra actually. Can I help you? Oh, look at this. See, even females are very territorial. They're not fans of other animals or other interlopers into their habitats. There you go, young lady. Go that way. So there you have it, everybody. Nancy, I hope you enjoyed this little follow-up. You asked the question, you get an answer. It just so happened that they were hanging out with me today or I was getting them ready to have a whole new habitat. Really excited that I got this done today because it's one less group of animals that I have to pull in manually uh, because of the cool weather that's happening here. So there he is, Stumpy everybody. I hope you guys will watch him grow and uh, hopefully you guys will make him another one of our favorite animals here at the camp. We're doing our best to give these animals the proper homes and a second chance uh, in retirement here in Florida. So from a sad story with the Humane Society as he was confiscated to a happy ending here at Camp Kennan with all the other reptiles that call this two and a half acre little, my little paradise home. There you have it, everybody. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. And uh, I hope you guys will like and subscribe and 
Don't forget to share these little videos because you guys sharing them definitely helps us out. It uh, makes our mission uh, known to a greater number of people. Thank you so much. Thanks for your support. And uh, hope uh, all's well, Nancy. See you soon. Bye.